Right, Tuesday morning. Eric's here. Up at farm too. It's frosty today. Just gonna walk out on this wheat. See if the beans are dying yet. Uh, what's happening? Yeah, I'm going hedge cutting today. I'm just letting the tractor warm up. It's pretty cold. And I'm sort of kicking myself a bit because uh, I should be out spraying on the frost really. But I haven't got the worksheets. Because I can spray the insecticide on the on the frost. They're not looking too good are they, the beans? Look like they're dying. Which is good. Yes, yeah, so all the barley needs spraying with insecticide to kill the aphids. Not that I would think there'd be many aphids around when it's this cold. By the way, if you like my my Milwaukee coat, it's heated jacket. And if you go to the, well, follow the link in the description. You can actually follow the link to the Milwaukee website, and you can enter a giveaway. They're doing a a prize draw. You just put in your details, and it'll enter you into the giveaway. Right. Yes, yeah, so if you enter that giveaway, I think they're giving away one of these jackets, loads of torches, loads of tools. So there's not a great deal going on on the farm at the moment. I think they're TB testing all the, the cattle up at, up at Farm 3. If you don't know that on the farm there's a, a herd of pedigree uh, limousines. And yeah, they're TB testing those at the moment. Uh, feels like they're always TB testing, but I think they're on six monthly. It just feels like it's, it feels like they're always TB, TB testing. Uh, fingers crossed, they're clear at the moment. So so far so good. Um, yeah, I'm just hedge cutting up at farm two. That's all I've got planned for this week really. And we have got 350 ton of oats planned to to be loaded out from farm one before Christmas. But I haven't heard anything about that yet. The weather forecast is looking pretty rubbish to be honest. The long range is just sort of mild and wet uh, in the lead up to Christmas, which it, it normally is Christmas, isn't it? It's no, normally mild and wet, nine times out of 10. But hopefully we're getting to the new year. Got some cool stuff, uh, got some interesting things gonna be happening uh, on the channel in the new year. I won't say too much, because it's not 100%. So at the end of this video, I'll put on, I'll add on a separate section of video that somebody else has made. A uh, guy called Stephen came out to see me yesterday. Came out for a chat, he lives locally, and he actually ended up doing a little bit of videoing on his little video camera, and he's edited it. Turns out they're actually pheasant shooting here today, and the gamekeeper just called me to say that I'm in the way, so. I will get to the bottom of this field and then go and cut somewhere else where I'm not in the way. I didn't even realise that they're shooting today, but they are. So hopefully I haven't caused too much bother. I'm always in the way. But yeah, as I was saying before, so Stephen came out yesterday and, and to see me. And he'd done a little bit of video in. Edited it yesterday afternoon. And he sent it over. And it's really good. So I'll put that on in a bit. If you're interested in watching uh, Farming Simulator YouTube videos, then Stephen's actually got his own YouTube channel, so I think it's called Farm Sim Gamer. I'll put a link in the description. Farm Sim Gamer, I'm pretty sure that's right. So go and have a look at that if you're interested in watching Farming Simulator YouTube videos. So it's Thursday morning, and I've got a quick little job I need to do with this 3350. We will just quickly check the engine oil first. I've not got enough hands here. Let me put the camera down. Like that. And then I can wipe the, wipe the dipstick. Yep, that's spot on. Let's see if she starts up. She never normally fails us. Sometimes if it, there's no power to the ignition, you just have to whack the dashboard and then she goes.
It's a bit of a drizzly day today. Not very sunny today. What we have to do is unhook all those pins out, and then I can drop that off and put that spike on. So what I want to do this morning with this 3350 is, I'm not sure if you can see in front, but there's a big old ash log. I'm going to pick it up, or try and pick it up. Hold on, I think we got it. We got it. Last year we had uh, quite a lot of poachers. Uh, forcing their way through holes in the hedges and stuff and then driving out onto the fields to uh, catch and shoot the the hares so what I'm doing it basically there's a bit of a gap in the hedge down here I'm gonna stick this log in it it is a footpath but hopefully I can leave I can put it in there and leave just enough room for the footpath right we're back on again Sorry about that, the camera froze up, so I had to turn it off and on again. What well, basically what I'm doing is got this log, and I'm gonna stick it in this gap way in the hedge. There is a footpath here, so I'm just gonna put it to one side so that they can get past walk past it, but no vehicles can get in basically. Tip that there. There we go with that. And then I'm gonna come down here with a hedge cutter and just tidy up the footpath bit. It's basically so that nobody can drive in here and drive out on the fields hair coursing basically. Eric's come for a ride now. It's turned into a right miserable day out there. Just wet and drizzly. It's a shame. But I guess it is December. I might bring the chainsaw up here tomorrow up to farm too because I've got some more gaps in the hedges that need filling down the road.
as always, thanks for watching the video. Much appreciated. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, because there's going to be lots of interesting things happening in the, in the new year. Some exciting stuff. So, yeah, make sure you've subscribed. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.